today we are going to discuss a small theorem from the section oscillation theory and boundary value problems we will go to the statement of the theorem if q of x less than 0 and u of x is a non trivial solution of u double dash plus q of x u is equal to 0 then u of x has at most 1 0 before going to the proof of the theorem, consider the equation u double dash plus q of x u is equal to 0. What we are going to prove in this theorem is that if the function q of x is a negative function, then the solutions of this equation do not oscillate at all. Then the question is that when we say that a solution is oscillating. In mathematics, in the field of ordinary differential equations, a non-trivial solution to an ordinary differential equation is oscillating if it has an infinite number of zeros. Otherwise, it is called non-oscillating. The differential equation is called oscillating if it has an oscillating solution. Now, we will go to the proof of the theorem. Let x0 be a 0 of u of x so that u of x0 is equal to 0. Since u of x is non-trivial that is is not identically 0 u dash of x0 is not equal to 0. Because if possible suppose that u dash of x0 is equal to 0 then Consider the initial value problem u double dash plus q of x u is equal to 0, u of x naught equal to 0, u dash of x naught equal to 0. Then u of x equal to 0 is clearly a solution of this equation and it satisfies the initial conditions also. Since we are assuming that q of x is continuous by the existence and uniqueness theorem for second order linear equations, this initial value problem has a unique solution that is u of x equal to 0. But we are assuming that u is not identically 0 which is a contradiction. So u dash of x naught cannot be 0 which means u dash of x naught is either less than 0 or greater than 0. Without loss of generality we assume that u dash of x naught is greater than 0 so that u of x is positive over some interval to the right of x naught. We say that a function is increasing on an interval if the first derivative value at any point on the interior of that interval is greater than 0. Here, whenever x is greater than x0, we have u of x greater than u of x0. But u of x0 is equal to 0. So, u of x will be positive on an interval to the right of x0. We have u double dash x is equal to minus q of x into u of x which is a positive function on the same interval since we have q of x is less than 0. We have u double dash of x is greater than 0. What does it mean that the second derivative is greater than 0? This means the slope u dash of x is an increasing function. That is when x greater than x naught u of x is positive and u dash of x is increasing together implies that u of x cannot have a 0 to the right of x naught. In the same way, it has none to the left of x0. A similar argument holds when u dash of x0 is less than 0. So that u of x has either no zeros at all or only 1.
Here, x0 is the only zero of u of x. That is, u of x has at most one solution. That is, the solution is not oscillating. Here, we showed that if q of x is a negative function, then the solutions of this equation do not oscillate at all. Our interest in the oscillation of solutions leads us to the next theorem. It is a special case in which q of x is a positive function. The statement of the theorem is that let u of x be any non-trivial solution of u double dash plus q of x u is equal to 0 where q of x greater than 0 for all x greater than 0. If integral 1 to infinity q of x dx is equal to infinity then u of x has infinitely many zeros on the positive x-axis. We prove this theorem by the method of contradiction. Assume that u of x has only at most finite number of zeros on the positive x-axis. Here we choose a point x0 such that x0 is greater than the largest zero. So that a point x0 greater than 1 exists with the property that u of x0 equal to 0 for all x greater than or equal to x0. So u of x is either less than 0 or greater than 0. Without loss of generality, assume that u of x greater than 0 for all x greater than or equal to x0. Our aim is to contradict the assumption by showing that u dash of x is negative to the right of x0 and this will imply that u of x has a 0 to the right of x0. Now, define a function v of x such that v of x is equal to minus u dash x by u of x for x greater than or equal to x0. Then, we get v dash of x is equal to minus u double dash by u plus u dash by u the whole square. But we have minus u double dash by u is equal to q of x and minus u dash of x by u of x is equal to v of x. So we get v dash of x is equal to q of x plus v of x the whole square. Now integrate v dash of x from x naught to a value x greater than x0 which gives v of x is equal to v of x0 plus integral x0 to x q of x dx plus integral x0 to x v of x the whole square dx. Here integral x0 to x v of x whole square dx is always a positive value since it is the integral of a squared function and from our assumption that integral 1 to infinity q of x dx is equal to infinity and x naught greater than 1 we can choose a large value for x so that v of x is positive but from the definition of v of x we have defined v of x as minus u dash of x by u of x. Here we got v of x as a positive value and u of x is assumed to be greater than 0. Which means u dash of x must be negative. This shows that u of x and u dash of x have opposite signs if 
excess sufficiently large. We get u dash of x is negative for x greater than x naught implies that u of x is decreasing. And the graph of u of x will have to cross the x axis. But we have assumed that u of x does not vanishes at any point to the right of x naught. Now this gives a contradiction to our assumption that u of x not equal to 0 for all x greater than or equal to x naught. Thus if q of x is positive, u of x has infinitely many zeros on the positive x axis. The lower limit 1 in the above integral can be replaced by any positive integer a. Thus, we have got an oscillating solution. Thank you.